Hey there, Pastor Mike. Uh, as you can see, this is a really old King James Bible. And in Matthew 5, 19, it says, Whosoever therefore shall break one of the least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever shall do and teach them, shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Now my question is, why would the Antichrist want you to keep and teach the Ten Commandments when Jesus also wants us to teach and to keep these Ten Commandments? That's part of the pastoral role of the pastor, um, the Bible teacher, the prophet, the apostle, and uh, the evangelist. The evangelist will use these Ten Commandments to evangelize people, to bring people into the kingdom, showing that they've broken at least one of these Ten Commandments and that they need the, the blood atonement that Jesus Christ shed on the cross. And it's just like when the Israelites were given the commandments and they broke them and then God decided to add to the law, okay, and he added the actual sacrificial law to the law that, which was already given by God, which was the Ten Commandments. And these sacrificial laws were in fact what was done away and what was nailed to the cross okay when Jesus Christ died but nowhere does it say that these Ten Commandments were nailed to the cross okay Jesus wants us to keep them and how do we do that read Jeremiah 31 33 that when we repent of our sin and turn to Jesus Christ believing in who he is he's the Son of God that he's the Lamb of God shed his blood for the sin of mankind and you ask him into your heart and don't doubt then he will be your Lord and Saviour okay that's how you become born again and that's how you get these Ten Commandments written upon your heart and mind and how are we to do them we're to please God by faith so in other words we are to keep these commandments by faith in the Torah no by faith in the Bible no. By faith in Jesus Christ. Yes. By faith in Jesus Christ. That's how we are to keep these Ten Commandments. And then letting God use us to do His good works. Okay. We're not saved by the good works. But the good works actually approve and show that we do have faith. As it's written in the book of James. Now that didn't take long did it? Mike. I hope this gets to you, my brother. Appreciate all your work and research, but uh, just keep playing this video over and over again, and maybe you can realize that, in fact, if you're redeemed by the blood of Christ and you call yourself the church, then indeed you should keep these Ten Commandments by faith in Jesus Christ. And the only two things you need to know when you're saved. One thing, the first thing you need to know is obedience. You need to obey your, your commander-in-chief, your, your Lord and Saviour. If you mess up, then the second thing you need to know is repentance and forgiveness okay, and mercy. Okay, kind, kind of the same fruit there. That's all I'm saying. Thanks a lot for listening. May the Lord bless you.